JP Morgan Tournament of Champions 2018 men's quarterfinal match. Gregory Gauthier of France to serve. Nick Matthew of England to receive. Best of five games. Love all. see Davy Pearson and Neil Guiry helping uh, Nick Matthew through this one. Well, he's going to need a lot of help, Nick Matthew, because Gregory Gaultier is on a mission here, particularly with the fact that Mohamed El Shabagi has been dispatched. Yes. Opening up that pathway Down. to a huge, huge opportunity to win this event and again. Out, one low. And Kareem Abdul Gawad's also disappeared. He was obviously the uh, defending champion. I mean, they call it the TOC, the Tournament of Champions, but so far it's been the uh, the Tournament of Casualties. It has. That was very sharp, PJ. You sound surprised. Not at all. I've got a huge well, amount of confidence. Old, uh, England you. against France and rivalry once all. again. But it's, it's been set up nicely. I mean, obviously, Nick Matthews' fashion sense has always been very questionable, but he's got the red of England, and Gaultier going for the slightly darker blue. They know what they're about, these chaps. <laughs> France v England. Well, they're not hanging around. Certainly no uh, jockeying for position early on. This is an onslaught. Swinging haymakers right from the onset. <laughs> who's, who's your money on, Peach? Oh, I can't believe you've Put me on it. Well, you've got plenty of it. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a, a French victory tonight. I'm going to get absolutely slaughtered for that. Well, you're trying to get a free holiday in the south of France, and I wonder you've gone for that one. It's going to be epic, though. I've just got a feeling the way that Nick Matthew dispatched of Wilstrop, who was also playing well, but also. The Nick, Ma the Nick Matthews scenario of, of publicly stating his retirement. So every one of these major events now is his last one. He's so retired. this Nick Matthew. Really? I didn't know what that. do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought he was. <laughs> well, it's been sarcastic, Joe. Right, every single uh, interview like or every comment about uh, Nick Matthews about when he's when retiring, how he's retiring. Yeah, but we know. His last event. I feel no, no, but he's he no, you're not listening. He's publicly stated he's retiring at the end of the season. <laughs> I'm well All aware. Right. All right. <laughs> okay. So this is his last tournament champion. So what I'm saying is that you know what he's like. You know him very well. <laughs> and he, does, he, he will be gunning for every ounce of time on that court. He's going to make it... Well, I'm, the point I was trying to make, he's going to make it even more difficult. The fact that he yes, is retiring, and this is his last TOC. No and it's remaining. going to be the same for every event that he's playing. <laughs> it's oh, going to be his last one. <laughs> yeah, you had some room there. I'm glad you clarified that. Well, I think I have. I'm confused now. <laughs> Absolutely nothing in it. <laughs> Early doors. <laughs> Matthew beating Gaultier in two World Championship finals to win those. Manchester back in 2013 and also Rotterdam. Out. Two, one. And out to all. Well, Matthew already doing a very good job of just containing Gautier early on. If you watch the, the contrast between this match and James Wilstrop when he was playing against Wilstrop, Nick Matthew was in a bit of a rush to get the rallies underway. Here, he's completely slowing down that uh, duration in between the rallies, just to try and get into the head of Gaultier. He wants to take him out of that rhythm. He loves to play at pace, Gaultier, and then that edginess can Three, come in. Two. 
Well, there's uh, Jean-Michel Acucci, former French uh, team player and top 40 in the world PSA player, very difficult player. I actually lost to him in the uh, European Team Championships once. I did hear about that. That's one <laughs> of the stories when, basically, when we, when people get chosen for England for the first time, we're told about that story as like a warning. <laughs> <laughs> you actually got to play for England, did you? I did, yeah, everyone was injured. You must have been short. I was tall, but they were all injured. <laughs> was in the men's event, I take it. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> Nasty man. Well, this is furious. The pace is absolutely frantic. But it needs to be calculated, though, from Gaultier. So funny, they've already settled into their rhythm, haven't they? And the fact that they've played each other 35 times on the tour previously, they know exactly what their opponent's all about. Well, you're basically looking at two players over, you know, Gaultier's 35 years of old, so he's, he's classed as a veteran now. This could be the over 35s TOC. I wonder how these two would get on in the over 35 category. Oh. Combined age of 72 years of age, these two. Four, two. Absolutely astonishing. Six years younger than you. Right, boss. I'll Good never start get from Matthew. <laughs> get I'm trying to get you back for your nastiness earlier. Yeah, solid start. I think Matthew does need the first game against Gregory Gaultier. If he's going to have a shout. <laughs> and that's just, uh, well, we've already got a debate. He thinks it was down. I thought that was OK. I thought that was pretty good. Yes, let 4-2. Ball was good. Ball was really good. So the forehand volley, well, that was fine. It's miles up. It's good two to three inches Four above two. the tin there. Just quite a heavy hit. Yeah, that's I why it bounced. Matthew just claiming that it was the sound from the ball on the at the uh, front of the court, but head game's already started. Down. So many errors from Gaultier. It's Down. a nervy start from the Frenchman. At least three. Unforced Five errors two. from Gaultier. That was ambitious there. Nick Matthew, again, you talked about the head games, looking at the referee to try to <laughs> make a point that the ball was actually down. I mean, <laughs> just have that last word, Matthew. Well, Gaultier gets himself out of trouble. It's unlucky there. it is unlucky because he's working the four corners, Nick Matthew, and a lot no, better than Gregory five. Gaultier. Seems a bit more relaxed than Gaultier at the moment. Three, five. We've often seen that uh, Squash TV is screened in some unique venues over the years, Joey, but uh, just added some uh, information piped through that Chiefs Bar in Lake Forest has just been booked out by uh, Aidan Harrison, who and the chaps are all currently sitting there watching it on the massive monster screen. How big's the screen? It's big. It's big. It's not as big as mine, but it's big. That's pretty big. That's massive. That's huge. That's bigger than yours. 
it's not. It's a lot bigger than yours. So, if you can hear us there at uh, Chiefs Park, drinks are on Aiden. We'd well, like to think they are if they're watching on TV. Think two errors think from Matthew. Aiden. Yeah, they probably can't understand what he's Four saying. And five. <laughs> Left. Left box. So just two errors creeping in for Nick Matthew now. Gaultier, one point behind at 4-5. Gaultier slightly exaggerating his swing, but at least playing the ball. Not going to get into that silly stuff. Quick uh, fact here for you, oh, PJ. You're Joey, of the 35 times today. that these two have played, 10 of those have been in the final. Oh, that is just unbelievable. What's the win ratio on big finals then? Come on. Yeah, to, to give, me a, give me some time. So who's won the major five finals, uh, 10 finals? I'll get back to you on that one, but uh, there's only been six three loves those 35 meetings. Right box. So Gregory right Gaultier ball. calming down after making the early four unforced errors. Draws lever at five all. Done a very good job here. Keeping this court uh, nice and safe and stable for the players. That's a good point, actually. It's been far Thank less you, activity gentlemen. with the court cleaners. It's been on like right a flash, and it's been yeah. very well organised. I mean, this Five event more. gets better and better every year. I mean, it's been going for a long, long time now. Always looking to improve it, John Nimick and his team. Five all. So we've had 12 minutes now. Locked in. Five all. Gaultier from Gaultier. starting to stretch. Nick Matthew. Matthew Six was able five. to control the, the pace. He was obviously gifted those early on forced errors, but Gaultier is now starting to find his corners. thinking the ages, you know, like 35 years of age, and then he's just going in like a rocket, Gaultier. But something as, as well that's impressed me from Nick Matthew is about two or three months ago, he actually looked as though he'd really slowed down. His movement was starting to struggle. I know he'd been uh, trouble with a couple of injuries. But since then, he's gone, he's gone away again, and he does this time after time, Nick Matthew. When he goes through these kind of slumps, comes and back even better all. than he was before. I know. It's a real credit to his uh, professionalism, Nick oh. Matthew. It's Best in the business. Yeah, there's no stone left unturned with Nick Matthew. He's even leaned himself further down, which is uh, astonishing. Body fat levels of under 5%. Oh. It's ridiculous. It's borderline uh, unsafe. Well, it's an unsafe sport at this level. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. <laughs> well, that is gut ripping. Oh. 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 Revert and return oh. with interest. C'est parfait. Wow. And out, 7-6. Not only was it an unbelievable reach, but look at the skill level of that from the French general. There's the jut of the chin. <laughs> <laughs> trying to compete with you for the old teeth Colgate sponsors. <laughs> See, all that I'm going to miss like crazy when he disappears. It's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> it's just pure... Pure character. Video referee decision. Oh, it's a let ball. I think there's room to play there. 
Yeah, I don't want them to go too easy on this scenario with Gaultier. So, video decision. I've got to be honest, though, with that situation, I think this is going to be a stroke. That's got to be a stroke. Oh, the ball's a bit further away from him there. Yeah, but... I've stroke to Gaultier. I think his swing, if you wanted to, you know, give it a proper swing there, Peach, could be dangerous. It looks like you're just about to depart from the platform, you. You're off to have a chat with the ref, you. <laughs> Tamara on the Gari, central referee for this. And in the hot seat, the video official is John Mazzarelli. Bounce back well here, Gregory Gautier. Well, he's found his corners and he's also stopped giving Nick Matthew three points. Oh, look at that line. It's dead. He's gone for it again. Oh, that's good pressure well, from Matthew. Yeah, Continual well. pressure from the Englishman. Cross court width, just beyond the reach. And Couldn't uh, get eight. this one back up onto the front wall. What if you put a one in front of the eight and a one in front of the seven? That would be the head to head, as is. Oh, you are right. Oh, you are razor sharp. <laughs> Well, we've had 17 minutes between these two titans of the game. It's actually a very similar start to the one that they had the time when Gortia unfortunately twisted his ankle they both started absolutely brilliantly yeah they did yeah it was going to become a classic yeah such classic out maneuvering squash you know, looking for that position to really take the ball in Fantastic overhead camera. We've watched quite a bit of that today. And just comparing the differences between some of the matches earlier on this afternoon with just how far back in the court the players have been basing themselves, their resting position, a couple of feet back from the tee, almost on the back line of the service boxes. These two chaps are barely uh, two feet from that tee area. Well, this is a no-let decision. I think it's a good uh, decision. Yeah. Nick Matthew just... Oh. This could be upheld, you know. Yeah, the line to the ball was actually on the inside of Gregory Gaultier. He's gone more into the back of the Frenchman and not towards the ball. Well, it's been overruled. Yes, let it's interesting overruled watching that particular clip remaining. because if you watch Seven. it from the camera two, okay. it looked like to me a complete and utter no let. But then when you see it from the uh, sky view, it looks like there's not a huge amount of area for Nick Matthew to squeeze past Gaultier and the side ball. So another example of how the court changes with the different angles, PJ. I thought the courtways remained the same. Well, you know what they say. I mean, <laughs> camera doesn't lie, but uh, everyone looks a lot bigger on camera. Apparently, the reasoning from the video official is that Gaultier was taking Nick's line. Oh, we're now into the 20 minute mark, so starting to get in very uncomfortable physical territory. Matthew's doing 
what he does best. He's starting to kind of press on that T-line. There's a little change now from Matthew. He's trapped behind Gaultier for a period of that uh, last phase of this yep. first. As we hit this business end, he goes into what he refers to as kind of warrior mode. He presses on the court. The T position, as you love to say from the sky view, if we have a look at that at the moment, Matthew's starting to creep further to the T, but also whatever side he's playing down, he also shifts slightly over to that, which means he's looking to close down on the ball, taking it that bit more earlier. There's the squeeze and the fist pump. So this is when it's at their very best, when you've got this kind of back and forth. Gaultier's being tested mentally now because he had it all his own way for a period of time, and Matthew's become that typical stubborn northerner. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> If we can just uh, see, there you go. It's a step up from this angle, a little bit longer. Oh, he's going to get another stroke. Here's another stroke. That's a real it's letdown for Nick Matthew. It is, but it's a letdown for Nick Matthew. You were in the swing. He was in the swing. It's quite right. It is a stroke. Yeah, it's unfortunate for him. It does wait a long time. Yeah, that's a stroke. It I mean, a long the time. It's a stroke. He's pressing even more now, Matthew. Look at how high he is. It's a joke. Look at that. He is so high on that tee area. It's the error. It's an edgy, edgy. Well, the reaction. The come on from. This is. <laughs> this is going to go. This is going to go bonkers. It's going to go. The, Honestly, the tempo, you wait and see, because he's... Look how far away. He's literally what, about a couple of centimetres from the short line, Matthew. He's doing it again. Yes, let's. Ooh. 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 That's a big Where shout. That is a big yes, shout. Let's. Matthew cannot get his racket ready early enough because it's caught in front of Gregory Gautier. I mean, it's so apparent what's happening here. It's full out attack from Nick Matthew. He's, I mean, it, literally all that rally was just around. How can he play that ball? He wants to play that ball. Well, it is a stroke. It's been given as a stroke. Gaultier looks back at his entourage. Matthew has a real look at uh, turn around the Gari. <laughs> Shaking his head. Well, he's got the decision. We've got a game ball for the Wolf. Slightly nervy looking French corner there. That is immaculate line hitting from Matthew. Terrific angle. Do you see how close that ball is staying to the sidewall? Wild. This is ferocious. When you think we've gone at well over 20 minutes, they're playing at a sprint now. 23 minutes and they're sprinting. But it's the sun. That's a let ball. That is a let Video ball. No, that's a let ball. You've got Gaultier who's waving his arm. It's a let ball, I feel. This is where, again, the line from Nick Matthews slightly impeded as he tries to go through from. He just stood his ground there. Does need to allow access for Matthew. Actually backs into him a yeah, little bit. Yeah, he's got to be... 10-9, game ball. I've got to be honest with you, if that had been looser from Gaultier, yes. Mazzarella would have given a stroke. Yep. Because he wasn't giving him a line. Gaultier's got to be careful with that. So back to 10-9 for Matthew. And Gaultier eradicates, which he can do when he's at his very best, straight away. Oh, and out, all, player must win by two points. Each player oh, it's good width. <laughs> Such good width. Well, we're very fortunate to be commentating on this one.
Oh. This is unbelievable squash from Gaultier. Matthew, though, keeps in the rally. Pressure is extensive. This is brutal. Brutal. Oh, this is going to be a huge roar from the crowd after this rally. It's Gaultier that's got himself in front for this uh, last rally. Matthew fighting so hard to just stay in it. Oh, it. he's done it, Matthew's done it. I mean, that is epic. He was underneath, he was under the cosh for the whole of that rally, pretty much, Matthew, trying to stay in and neutralise, and, and then as soon as he gets, gets one off. opportunity, he makes it count. Very exciting. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, oh. So the wolf has his snarl. He now has his first game ball. It's good work from Gaultier. He did very well to get past Matthew there. Again for position down this left hand side wall. So much activity is taking place on the backhand side, waiting for that, as Joey said, the one opportunity, the one loose ball to try and apply the pressure into the front of the court. Yes, let 11 10, game ball. A relaxed Gaultier there. I think that's because he's, he's, he's quite <laughs> tired. <energy. laughs> he's quite tired. I'm not surprised. I mean, oh, these not, two no, have been no, absolutely knocking seven bells of hay out of each other here. <laughs> it's the constant jockeying for position and to get in front of the opponent that's so intriguing for me. With that quality. for the loud screech from uh, Joe. He's just tweaked a calf muscle there. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. He's doing it again. It's just neutralising, getting back everything, Matthew. He is stubborn. <laughs> My goodness gracious me. Oh. Going through the interference. Great width. Shut out. No, he's there. Oh, he's got to go. It's a no <laughs> left. Played that. He's got to play the ball. What's he doing? Play a review, Gautier, on the yes What's he done? Decision. Why would he play a review that's, that? That's such a. Why would he play a review that? He's lucky to get a let. Gautier, what's he done there? Well, this could be overturned. <laughs> this could be overturned. <laughs> what's he done? If he's done that, he's right, his head will come off his shoulders. Why has he not played the ball there? Nick Matthews said it straight away as well. well. Just watch how he puts the arm up for there for a no let. Ooh. 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 Yes, let. Decision upheld. Gautier has no reviews remaining. Imagine if that had been. Game ball. Oh, I mean, literally, that would have, I think that would have been the end of John Mazzarella. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been the end. <laughs> I'm sure his heart was in his mouth for a time there, Gautier. I can't believe he reviewed that oh, after dear. being given a let.
Well, we've gone over 30 minutes. Still, Gaultier keeps the rally in play. Stroke to he gets that stroke. <laughs> he gets the stroke. He was there. Hand out, 11 all. Yeah, that's a clear stroke, that one. Quite a few strokes for Matthew. When you, quality of the way he's playing, he's given away a few strokes. Well, Gregory Gaultier clenches, clenches his fist this time round for his second game, game ball. ball. Mentally, very, very strong. We're over 30 minutes of an unbelievable first game, well, it's difficult. a classic first game. It's difficult to really emphasise the magnitude of winning this first game mentally. If you do uh, happen to take a game like this, it just... Wow, you know, it's a that's too good. It's a quality shutout. Way out. too good from Matthew. There's Neil Guyry, David Pearson. Out, 12 all. That's a great shot. Once again, the pace just settles down initially. Ooh, oh, that's a scoop. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe that. Can't believe that. He's apologising to everyone from that shot, Gaultier. 13 12, game ball. <laughs> he said, won't say what he said, but yeah, it's uh, a bit in a uh, different <laughs> language <laughs> for our French yeah. fans. Yeah. Swiss French or? Just French. I've lost track of who's had how many game balls. Well, this is Matthew's second. No, he's got Matthew to play that. That's 13, naughty from Matthew. 12, <laughs> that is, I think that's a bit naughty. Room to play. Yeah. Did see the shoulder pads in the face. Okay. All right. It's a little bit. I think that. Uh, I think that's a bit naughty. I think he needs to play that. He's he's been cute there. So let ball anyway. Fisty cuffs are out. On guard, Monsieur. Thirty-four minutes, PJ, and we're not even into the first intermission. Well, it's without a shadow of a doubt been the best game, first game of this tournament yep. so far. You mentioned earlier, Joey, just at the pace that these chaps are rattling on at, but control, pace, everything. What's more impressive for me is the accuracy in which they're playing. Yeah, well, that's what... I mean, it's one thing to play quickly and to play fast, but when you're still hitting... It's a tactical work. I mean, these guys know each other's games inside out. I mean, Simon Rosner made the point, you know, like playing a kind of a close friend when you know the game so well. And then it's trying to outmaneuver, which makes it even more fascinating for me. See, I've seen referees punish Gaultier for the movement off of the shot into the line. Well, he could do it. He has done. I've seen that before. So the stroke's been given. Gregory Gaultier storms off court. Both players having a word with the ref. 35 minutes of the best first game we've seen in this tournament so far, and it happens to be between Gregory Gaultier and Nick Matthew. What a treat Matthew takes first blood.